Hello again. I've finished another one of uh, the books that's been sent to me by Netgalley and this is by one of my favourite authors, um, John Boyne, and it comes out in August I think. I will stick in the description box down below the exact date that it comes out because if you follow these vlogs before I am hopeless at remembering the dates of publication. This one is very different to any of the John Boynes that I've read in the past. It's a satire and it's a satire on the life, the, the way, the, sorry, the way the world is now. It's a satire on social media, on Twitter, on being cancelled, on political correctness. It is a really funny read and his message is about sort of social media and the, the pros and cons of social media, I suppose. It's the story of the Cleverleys and George Cleverley, he's 60, he is a national treasure in his own words. He is um, a BBC presenter and he has been for years and people love him. So that is George. He's got his wife Beverly, who is an author. An author in the loosest sense of the term because she employs ghosts. Uh, she gives them the story, they do the writing, but she's the writer. You know, she is, she is most put out when people say she's not a writer because it's her story, even though she doesn't actually pick up a pen. So that is his wife. And then he's got three children, Nelson, Elizabeth and Achilles. Nelson is socially awkward, absolutely socially awkward. Very, very shy. Elizabeth has a, an obsession with social media. She is desperate to get her likes up on Twitter. That's all she lives for. She puts everything going on Twitter and she's also developed um, an alter ego on Twitter. And sometimes she will have an argument with herself on Twitter. She is obsessed with getting her, her likes up and getting the blue tick. And then you've got Achilles, who is described by his whole family as an idiot. He lives for pleasure. Um, he goes through girls. He's, he's 17, but, you know, he likes girls. And he also goes in for the odd little bit of extortion. So that is the Cleverly family. And the three children, they all live at home on you know, their parents' money because they're a very, very wealthy family. But on the face of it, they're a perfect family, but then you, you look underneath and um, George has got a mistress and Beverly is having an affair with the dancer that she was on Strictly Come Dancing with. So, you know, this is the undercurrent. And... Everything starts to go wrong when George makes a post on Twitter, a, a post that he doesn't see anything wrong with. He just, he thought it was a very supportive post and he was trolled. And that was it. That was his downfall. He was called into the BBC to apologise for his tweet, um, but everything escalated from there because he just got himself into deeper and deeper trouble just by this one single tweet that went wrong and the whole family ends up being almost cancelled I mean we, we've got this in the media at the moment people being cancelled because of something they say that's deemed to be wrong and it is a very funny book it is you only look at what these fa this family is doing and the interconnectedness of the family because you find this there are threads that are connecting them all and it's not just the threads of family that connect them there are all sorts of different things going on so it is a really really funny book i suppose the message at the end of the book is do we actually need social media i think well that's the message i took from it but john Bowen. 
a huge success in my opinion. Um, he delivered a book that I wasn't expecting and a book that I really liked. So thank you Ned Galley for letting me read this and look out for it in August I think it is. But again I said I'll confirm that one. So happy reading, take care and bye.